Today is September 5th and it's shoot day. So we're um, doing our, we're shooting for our fall campaign. I'm really excited for this launch because like the colors are so cute and more calm than like our previous collections. Um, this is more of a neutral collection. The jackets are a little bit longer than before. As you guys remember, our previous collection have stopped right here. That's the Jordan ones, you know, classics. And for my hair, my hair is so cute. My girl did it for me. Um, she's actually one of the models too. So she crimped my hair. She plucked it so freaking nice. Hey guys, so we just got here. Anyway, so. About to do our photo shoot. Hey. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a good shoot. Okay, guys, I'm also gonna show you guys the upstairs of this studio. I'm actually in love with this studio space. We're definitely gonna shoot here again um, with our next collection, but this is just the upstairs lounge area. Super cute, chill. And then I'll give you guys an overview of the whole entire space. This is everything. Uh, Super cute. Okay, so we're about to start taking pictures. Let me show you guys my fit. Okay, so I just got done with my nail appointment. Love these nails. I went with a really cute, simple French tip. My girl, Jady, did them. So if you guys are from the Bay, I'll have her information on the screen right here somewhere so you guys can check her out. Definitely recommend. She did a wonderful job. It's super classy. I love the shape, the cut. Everything is bomb. Um, They're not too long, not too short. Super young, super lit. She's such a boss. So, you know, I had to hit her up. And she's my new nail tech. So check her out if you want to get barred by JD period to give y'all an update though it's been a mess out here in these streets i'm so ready to get the f asap somebody spray painting on my car like a week ago i still don't know who did it one of these hating females out here or somebody i don't know but somebody spray painting on my car and i still have yet to find out who did it and that really makes me mad because it's like who's coming up to my home spray painting on my on my stuff you know what i mean that's something to really get you beat up i've been trying to figure out who did this i've been asking all my neighbors for cameras and stuff like that don't nobody know nothing so I had to take this L and I got my car fixed or whatever, but I took an L with that little spray paint situation. But like, child, I'm tired of people, y'all. Like, I'm really on my last strike. Like, I'm not even playing. Like, y'all finna see the high school me come out. I've been on my best behavior, like focusing on myself, focusing on my business and everything like that. But I'm tired of people. I don't even be feeling safe half the time going out in public. Like, I have to like literally be incognito incognito girl child like fully disguised because we be out and it'd be girls plotting trying to jump us it'd be girls plotting like i don't know rob no i'm cool off that so if i'm going out and i don't want to you know be in an effing costume because i'm trying to my best not to be noticed or you know seen by a hater i we're looking into hiring security is as dramatic as it sounds i'm tired of people like i'm about to move into our new spot next week i can't wait for y'all to see it we got some more vlogs coming on the way, house tour. So hey y'all, it's September 12th. Um, we have a pre-sale in about an hour, but right now I want to show you guys what I was doing. So I am studying right now. I have a test in a few days and I want to show you guys how the grind never stops in between classes or in between, you know, studying. I have a sale coming up and I have a sale in a couple hours. If you are a young entrepreneur, a teenage entrepreneur, it's no ins and outs there's no shortcuts you know you have to get your education and you know put in that work to get that bag right you know so there's definitely um some some things that go into it especially if you are a student like me um i'm in my second year of college so doing some notes right now okay you guys so we just launched pre-orders um i will show you guys we're getting orders back to back to back you guys yeah so we just launched about four minutes ago i have to just show you how quickly we're getting these orders like 
literally every second somebody's ordering something i'm so blessed and grateful for you guys we have the best customers so it's only been 20 minutes since we launched this pre-order so and we already sold out of um the black sets and we have a few more left of the olives and a few more left of the nude so i'm really excited you guys have made this a great turnout for day one of pre-orders we're i'm pretty sure we're going to be sold out of these by today but Pre-orders was a success. Um, the initial launch will be in a few weeks, so I'm really excited for you guys to get your fall collection. Um, Fine Girl Fall is in full effect. I'm here for it, we're here for it. It's about to be lit these next few months. What's popping, y'all? I'm taking over for the vlog, okay? Okay, so we're about to go get our keys. We're not moving in today, we're just getting our keys, um, our mail keys. That's what we're gonna do today. Bye! Okay, so this will be Shate room. I'm not really gonna show you guys everything because we're gonna do a full like tour later. We are on. Love the high rise ceilings. No. Cause period. Oh yeah, we're really upstairs. This is my bathroom. My bathroom is a lot smaller than um, Shade's, but it's not that big of a deal. Period. And then this is my room. Okay, you can't even see because I don't have a light yet, but this is my room. All right, so we made our infamous trailer. And now we're just waiting and basking in the beauty of this apartment. And we're gonna take some pictures. Yeah. Just period. I'm living for this sunlight. We did not get lighting like this in our last place. Our last place was nothing. Compared to this, and that's one period. I can't police no bitch, I just pass in the line. Play the broke boy, I ain't got it. Just to test people up to that future, ain't no ill. Quick to pull a nigga cord. What are we doing today? We're moving everything in. Well, not everything. There's a few things for our house, and then there's some things for the Everything out again, but this is not the full moving day. We got a lot more to go. It's like the day one moving. Can you guys hear me? Here? I definitely just doored up some food. I'm gonna show y'all what I got. It's like, get up to the. Y'all bring never just stop working. I'm gonna show y'all what I got once I get to a stable place, okay? But I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Are you done? The movers moved um, my mattress in here f so far. And um, yeah, it's kind of big. I'm gonna come back on camera when the rest of my stuff is moved up here and I like start decorating. I'm so happy to be like living on my own again. We had moved back home for like a few months after the whole Corona thing happened and the lockdown. We just didn't feel safe. A lot of people in the building started testing positive. And along with like other issues I was having there, I just didn't really like the environment I was in. And we let a lot of negative and like toxic people in the space. It just started to feel like not home-like. So we did end up moving back home, but I'm so happy to be back living on my own. I feel really relieved and I feel free and happy and at peace. And this is something that I really have need, been needing for a minute. I've been on a roller coaster full of emotions, you guys. Like these past few months, like going through my situation, like it really took a toll on me. And yeah, so I'm just really happy to be back in my element and be on my own again. And I'm really ready for this, you know, new chapter in my life second crib at only 19 period i'm just really really blessed so yeah i just want to update y'all let y'all know a little something or whatever but yeah girl